welcome to Stitch Tips. I'm Lacey with the SII store here at Stitch It International, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do applique. The products I'm gonna be using today is a black tote, isocord polyester thread, ganold black tearaway backing, thermofix bonding film, gray and white felty. You can also use material that you can get at your local Hobby Lobby. Small curved in scissors, a 5.5 Mighty Hoop with the freestyle board. And another tip that I'm gonna give you today is make sure that you print off your design. You wanna make sure that you have your exact measurements. That way you know how large to cut your material or felty. And I also say that you should print off the color chart. You wanna make sure you know where to put your stops because when you are running applique, you will be putting stops into your embroidery machine. Since I'm gonna be putting the applique onto a black tote, I'm gonna be using the Freestyle Station. This is really good for towels or blankets, anything like that. So I'm gonna be using the 5.5 Mighty Hoop. We're gonna load it into the bottom fixture. We're gonna raise our magnets because that's what's gonna be holding our backing into place. Load the tote onto the fixture. And there's actually lines on this Hoopmaster station, so you'll be able to keep it very straight. Take our 5.5 Mighty Hoop, press, and it's ready to be loaded on the machine. As you're putting the bag onto the machine, you wanna make sure that you keep the strap out of the back of the machine. It could get caught and you really don't want that. You wanna make sure that everything has a clear path. So once you get it onto there, you wanna make sure to pull this strap back a little bit so it's not gonna get caught. You're gonna to wanna to do your trace out, make sure it doesn't hit your hoop. And you're also going to want to make sure that you have your stops in the proper place. With applique, you're gonna have a placement stitch, a tacking stitch, and then a satin stitch. So, you need to make sure that on this chart, you have it in the correct place. So now we're gonna hit start, and that's gonna be doing our placement stitch. That is gonna tell me where I need to put my material. So now that we have our placement stitch done, we're gonna apply our felty. Now you're gonna want a, a heat agent on the bottom of this. We're gonna be using Thermafix bonding film. You're gonna have that on the bottom and that's gonna help you when our embroidery's done. You're actually gonna apply heat to it and then that way you're not gonna have any puckering or shifting in your material. So we're gonna go ahead and place that right over our placement stitch. And we're gonna hit start again. So now that our tacking stitch is finished, we're gonna go ahead and cut away the material away from there. And you're gonna to wanna to cut it with these curved in scissors. It helps to get in there really well. And you're gonna to wanna to cut it just as close as you can. You want those satin stitches to completely cover. We don't want any of our material hanging out. So I've removed all of the felty. Um, all the material is cut away, just as close as I could get it. We're gonna go ahead and place our white felty on and repeat the step. So we went ahead and repeated those steps. We cut our white felty away from the tacking stitch, and now we're just gonna put it back onto our machine and finish the embroidery. So now that our embroidery is finished and we did some cleanup, we now have our little wolf pup. So if you're interested in any of our products or have any questions, please visit our online store or give us a call.